Uh, we, De'Aaron Fox said the game winner Saturday. We're going to talk about De'Aaron Fox and the Kings, and we'll also hit tonight's game during the show. But let's use this segment to focus in a little bit on De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron has been unlocked. De'Aaron has taken the step. De'Aaron has taken his game, which is already pretty darn good, with some flaws to the next level. Let's make no mistake about this, because I know Kings fans will, will – this is important, and, and I get it, and it's important to me too – if De'Aaron Fox is able to sustain any part of this play at any sort of level like this, he's an all-star. Just relax. It's not even it, he will be an all-star. Could I put the numbers in context real quick Please. to support your all-star thing? Okay. Please. He's having 26 points this season. This is a big thing, though. Yeah. We've always said if De'Aaron could average that on a 50% field, 40% three, yeah. and 90% line, like, yeah. oh, my God, those are those are all-star. I mean, you're approaching all-NBA so he has 26 points currently on 55% field, mm-hmm. 37% three. So inching towards that 40% mark, 87 and a half from the free throw line. That's the one that is surprising me right now. His free throw shooting the last several games has just been crazy. Can I give you some averages? 27.3 points, 5.7 assists, 4.8 boards uh, on 52.1% from the field and 77.7% from the line. So his splits would be... 52 33 from beyond the arc and 77 so again throwing a lot of numbers out everybody i i get it 27 i'm rounding up here 27 mm-hmm. 6 and 5 because i don't think we need to look too deep here that's what De'Aaron fox has averaged since demonta sabona started playing with him 23.3 6.2 assists 3.6 rebounds that's on 47% shooting. Remember, 52.1 was Sabonis, 47%. And he's averaged or added four points per game. That's what De'Aaron did with Tyrese Halliburton. They couldn't they couldn't play together. It's called fit. It's called fit. Fit matters. Now it's uh, also uh, why you draft though for right. best player available because you can trade somebody to fit. Period. I would say I don't like saying they couldn't play together. I would like to say that some, they were not able to find a way to make it work. It wasn't ideal. Now, I know there's people out there screaming and we don't need to rehab. Well, then trade Fox. You weren't you weren't you weren't going to get the value. So what did Monty do? Monty made made the decision whether it's right or wrong. He made the decision when he drafted the best player available. That gave him a glut this time last year. We were already starting really to talk mm-hmm. about uh, this roster's imbalanced, and it was. So he balanced it. He took took one of his star point guards, star to be. He traded it for a star-ish big man, DeMontis Sabonis. De'Aaron has been completely unlocked. Now, un- unfortunately, I think Kings fans would agree with this. As a Kings fan, you don't sit around and dream about, boy, I really hope one day De'Aaron Fox is an all-star. Now, that's certainly, that is a sprinkle on the Sunday. That is a cherry. That might you can even argue it's whipped cream on the Sunday, but the Sunday is winning ball games, making the playoffs, and contending for a championship. So, De'Aaron's looking fantastic. The wins have to come behind it. Because otherwise, only one of two things is possible. Either the team around De'Aaron Fox is so terrible that he can't lift it no matter what he does, or De'Aaron Fox's numbers are going to end up being empty calories, as they call it. I do not believe in the empty calories. thing, But time will tell on that. Because if De'Aaron Fox is an all-star this year and the Kings don't make the play-in, well, I'm not happy about this season. I'm really happy for De'Aaron that he made an all-star team, but that that's not why people buy season tickets. Okay, but what he is doing with Sabonis is phenomenal. And Jay, what I said on the post game Saturday, and I'll bring it here. De'Aaron is playing differently, and it's not. I don't really care. the The least, the thing I care the least about this year is his jumping points. It's it's great. I don't care. I care about his better commitment to defense. I, I, I want to say, though, sprinkle in real quick. I, yeah. I get the points thing, but I do think the jump in efficiency does matter. I think that matters a lot combined with oh, what you're saying I, about the defense. I completely agree with you there. 
I, I'm fine with him. Honestly, I'd rather him score 20 points a game and be efficient than mm-hmm. score 30 points a game and not sure. be anywhere near as efficient. But I think the reason why that's on the board now is because the supporting cast is just better. Yes. And I know going into the season, a lot of, you know, eyes were on De'Aaron, disappointment with De'Aaron, but I always felt it was really unfair because I don't think, I think sometimes we forget how important the supporting cast is, especially when you talk about unlocking a player. So bonus 100% a big reason for that. Yes. But adding guys like Kevin Herter, adding guys like Keegan Murray, Malik Monk was terrific off the bench. I thought Saturday night, you yes. know, he gave you 15 points on again. Trey Lyles. So it was Trey, Trey Lyles. I did not understand for the life of me why he wasn't playing earlier in the season, but yeah. he's obviously established himself as a good bench player. These things matter a lot in the context of whether or not he can take this team into a play in or playoff. And it, it, the conversation will grow as the season goes on. But I do think that was something that was not really looked at. I think people focus too much on what he didn't do versus not what he had around him. Yeah, small sample size right now, but. You know, I talk about a small sample size. This is actually fun to look at because you know whose numbers are incredibly close. And they've been compared before. And their career trajectories have been compared before, too. John Morant? Close. No. Devin Booker. Okay. It's incredibly close. Devin Booker's averaging seven-tenths more per game points-wise. Here's probably the biggest. Well, by the way, their steals, their blocks, their offensive rebounds, their free throw percentage. Jay, they're exactly to the decimal the same. Who would have thought their free throw percentage would be exact? 87 and a half. <laughs> Booker and Fox. Steals 0.9, blocks 0.6. I get it. It's a small sample size. And then here's a surprise of all surprises. Devin Booker's averaging a half more assist per game than De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is averaging two more rebounds than Devin Booker a game. But here's the thing that's crazy, dude. De'Aaron Fox is shooting 55.5% from the field to Booker's 48.3. De'Aaron shooting 37% from beyond the arc, 35 for Booker. They're essentially, they're different players, but they're essentially the same player this year. Yeah, and the Suns have a 7-2 and two record. And what does that come down to again? Supporting cast. Big supporting I, and cast. I'm not here to make the argument De'Aaron Fox is better than Devin Booker right sure. now. I no, think neither, that's a and neither am I. And neither am I. But. It just go. Devin Booker wasn't great until Chris Paul came over and That's DeAndre correct. Ayton was That's drafted. Correct. You know what I mean? Correct. Like That's correct. Devin Booker was the empty calorie guy in Phoenix until those guys came. He over. was. Mikel Bridges too is a, a huge uh, addition there. It just goes to show again you cannot write home a guy as empty calories until you've put the best possible team around. Him. And Mikel Bridges and Sabon- uh, Bridges, uh, Sabonis. Uh, Mikel Bridges. DeAndre eight. And oh, by the way, Chris Paul. Yeah. You added three players that can play defense. Mm-hmm. People forget about Chris Paul's defense. Maybe not today, but when he came to the Suns. But his overall, the other, the other and intangibles too. Leadership. Yeah. But as people are wondering on the text line, it remains to be seen. Can De'Aaron Fox make other players better? I think that's fair, but I also think other players have to make themselves better too. There's a combination there for both. 